Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are hiking Stu's Ridge. That's not even the name of it. Yeah, it is. Is it? We think that's how you say it, Stu's Ridge. So Stu's Ridge was actually one of the hikes in Switzerland that we found a bit confusing before visiting, but upon arrival, we completely fell in love with it. This one-way trail follows a stunning ridge line that offers magical views over the surrounding mountains and Lake Lucerne. Switzerland. This is our second hike here. Mm -hmm. Our first one was epic. We mm -hmm. will link to that video below. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah, so good. That one was called Schatzler yeah. Ridge. And we've loved Switzerland so much already that we are definitely going to be creating a travel guide. Yes. So we will link that below this video. If you want to check it out, head down, click it up. Yeah, in our travel guides, we always list mm -hmm. everything basically from like accommodation, restaurants, um, travel tips. Yeah everything you need to know about traveling a country in one spot. So make sure to check it out. There are always instant downloads as well. If you're new to the channel, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel vlog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities to get you outside and off the beaten path. Lots of hiking. Lots of van life. So this journey begins at the Parkplatz Stussbahn in Schwitz. From here, you will take the world's steepest funicular up to the car-free mountain village of Stuss. The funicular was pretty crazy. All of the cars stack on top of each other for the first little bit. It's quite steep and then it levels off and you're able to kind of admire the farmland and the area around Stuss. Which chair are we going to? We're going to the Klingenstock chairlift. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically just going to follow the signs to the Klingenstock chair from Stoos Funicular. Stoos. We think it's Stoos. Nice chair lifts. Yeah. So we just hopped on the Klingenstock chair and we're riding up to the ridge and then we're going to hike along the ridge and it's about 4k. Yes, from the top of the Klingenstock chair to the top of the Fraunhofstock chair is 4.7 kilometers and approximately 400 meters of elevation gain. Oh. <laughs> it's getting super foggy. Yeah, perfect time for a hike. Although this is very cool. It's just a little bit cold, so I closed the bubble. I'm too cold, I'm too hot, I'm hungry. <laughs> I need a pee. Welcome to traveling with women or women. There's good things too. <laughs> <laughs> like for instance, I didn't fall asleep. We're still battling with jet lag. I didn't fall asleep till like 3 a.m. Got up at 7.30 and was like the biggest grouch on the planet. And then we couldn't find breakfast anywhere. So, you know. She's actually really nice and great. And she liked planned this trip. So <laughs> I'll keep her for a little while at least. <laughs> Literally inside the cloud. Yeah, we're really, um, it's tough to see like one foot in front of you right now. You know, might clear up. <laughs> visibility it's good so just a few things to note it is possible to hike all the way from Stu's to Klingenstock but this will add an extra 4.5 kilometers and 665 meters of elevation gain to your hike this is an option if you want to add a little bit more activity to your day but it actually won't save you any money if you have purchased a day pass it costs 50 Swiss francs each for a day pass so that gives you access to all the chairlifts and funiculars and everything so you can just kind of get around as you please so I'm just looking at the handy dandy pamphlet here and it says that so the one day is 50 francs but you can do two days for 55 or three days for 60 so like if you have more time to spend here there's a ton of other hiking to do in this area over 340 kilometers of hiking trails to be exact so that could be something that interests you you can also choose to do this hike in either direction the reason we did it this way is because the Klingenstock chair closes at 4 p.m. Um, we got a little bit of a later start today and the Fraunhofstock chair closes at 5.30? 5.30. 5 
So, um, and it's actually, I think, a little bit easier going this way as well. It's just more downhill. By hiking in this direction, you also have the best views in front of you, and both the viewpoint and the infrastructure at the front of stock chair are much nicer than at the top of the Klingenstock chair. We are about halfway, actually three quarters way through the hike, and the sun is kind of starting to peek out. Hopefully the clouds fade a little bit more. It's honestly like the views are just stunning, um, but they just come and go with the clouds, which is kind of neat to watch, but unfortunately it's kind of hard to capture. Yeah, we definitely recommend doing this hike on a clear day. Yeah. But the clouds are cool. It is so beautiful, yeah. We can actually see down to the lake now too. Right down there. Okay, the beginning. Very easy, breezy. Oh, you're pretty much going downhill. The end's a bit of a grind. But we can see the lake. <laughs> oh. <-ho. laughs> Oh, he's so Pet little. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a goat petting. Oh, my God, it's a goat petting too. Do you think we can go in there? Enter at your own risk. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> God, they're funny. Cool. <laughs> Are you going to taste them or what? <laughs> Best hike ever. So it was a little bit of a disappointing hike at the start, middle, and near the end, but it paid <laughs> off at the end. It was really, it was beautiful, honestly. Like, if you get a clear day up here, it'd be stunning, but like the views at the end there at the la this chair that we're going down on now is just phenomenal. It's, it's so amazing. And honestly, like, it's really beautiful with the clouds. We just, there were so many times we were like, oh, I wish we could just see a little bit more. But even yeah. then, like, yeah. even in the fog, it's beautiful, come up. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, yeah, the sun came out, we could see the lake, and there's a goat petting zoo, guys. Goat petting zoo. So, I was just saying I would pay to like come back up just to like go pet the little goats again. That was just so little and cute. Now we are going to head down to <laughs> Stoosh. 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 <laughs> and grab a bite to eat because it's 5, almost 5.30, which is when this chair closes during the weekdays. Yes, we got here around, what time do we get here? Two? Two o'clock? Um, I would get here earlier if you can, just yeah. because of the chairlifts close mm -hmm. fairly early. So it would probably be like, I mean, we had enough time, but yeah. it would have been nice to have some time to hang out up there and eat. For sure. Yeah, yeah. you could definitely make a day of this. And if you're paying a hundred francs, you might as well. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the Switzerland guide below. It'll be linked. Yes, and we will link some of our other hiking videos in yep. Switzerland as well. Yep. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe. We would love to have you along for the rest of our adventures. We'll see you in the next one. See you next week.